Hi everyone, so today I want to talk about the idea of imposter syndrome. This is something that so many of us deal with every day and we don't necessarily always talk about it. The other thing is you may see somebody who seems like the picture of confidence. They're posting on social, they speak at conferences, they write a lot and they're in the public eye. So you think, oh, well, they're very confident. They don't deal with these issues. And I will tell you that I deal with these issues. So I hope it makes you feel better about the things that you do. But the, what I continue to do is tell myself, okay, I want to help others. I can bring value and help others. So that's why I continue to show up and do what I do. I have to give myself a little pep talk because I see to myself, well, who the heck is she to tell anybody anything because she's not perfect and she screwed up a lot in her life and there's a lot of people who are more successful than her, right? Yes, but if you are authentic, if you are showing up to social and in general in your personal brand with the idea of helping others and giving to others, you will be successful at it and you will be able to fight those negative voices in your head that really can sabotage you. And self-sabotage is so much of what imposter syndrome is all about. A lot of women I know deal with this issue. We say, you know, why us? Well, why not us? And that's what I'll challenge you to think about. Find those things that you're good at. Really believe in yourself when it comes to those things and persevere. Persevere through the uncomfortableness. Persevere through those feelings of, oh gosh, I just put myself out there. What will people think of me? And I worry every single day what people will say about me, the way that I look, uh, what I say, my the intonation of my voice, everything under the sun. You have to block out those critics. The worst critic is yourself. And until you make peace with that, you will not be living up to your full potential. So my advice is to silence that inner critic that tells you that you're not good enough. Find those things that you're really good at and focus on those things. Believe in yourself because you need to believe in yourself before anybody else will believe in yourself. Reach out to me with any questions and follow my blog, the socialmediabutterflyblog.com for more tips like this.